The stakes are about to be raised in Super Rugby 2019 and what a way to kick off quarterfinals weekend as the Crusaders take on the Highlanders in the Great Southern Derby. Wide they go and Thompson slips the 50. Oh. Gets a great ball away to Smith and they're in the corner. See old Tomkinson. The offload was sensational, bringing in two players. Here's Franklin busting through. The recycle's nice and quick as they shift it across. That was Luke Whitelock's charge, and then out the back, Iwani, lovely skip pass. The footwork brings in two players. Good here over the top, drawing past Ben Smith. Oh, that's reward for the Highlanders. They've been good in the last five. Now the Highlanders holding them up. Kieran Reid has it now. Going sideways. So they'll have to release it. Hall, Maunga now. Oh, beautiful pass away to Havili. And he's in between the posts. They had to release it. And then Waisaki Naholo defensively. What's he searching for here? He's so far infield. He leaves Ben Smith exposed. Sevu Reese. they had plenty of numbers on the outside. It's bizarre defence. And against a quality team like the Crusaders, they'll pick you off every time. Hall, digging it out, gives it to Todd, quickly through the hands. Now here's a chance to free it up for George Bridge. Beautiful offload to Douglas, and Maung is in. Crusaders get their second try, it's Richie Maung up. First of all, Bridge it was. There's Crotty gets hit hard. Mwanga, now look at the work of Bridge. There was heaps of defenders there. He gets an offload away. Fetu Douglas also, not to Haveli, but to Mwanga, looped around the back. Plenty of defenders, but just too much skill from the Crusaders. And to Walden they go. Slips the first tackle, he's over! Simple, but so effective. Crusaders had to adjust. They sent Ryan Crotty across, so then just a nice flat pass from Aaron Smith. He took steps. Goodhue doesn't miss many. He couldn't hang on to Walden, and he does enough to slide over. The Highlanders pounce, and they deserve to. At halftime, in the first of the quarterfinals, it's the Crusaders leading the Highlanders by 17 to 14. And now the Crusaders look to counter. Quickly through the hands. Oh, what a hit from Squire! Uh, everything else was legal. He just didn't get the arm around quick enough. There's no attempt to wrap that on. That's quite forceful. The momentum does not count if you could have used your arms. Yep. Still a long way to go in this match. But the Crusaders again go to their forward pick, storming towards the line. Here's a try. You can see the oh, they backed off. Then they had a player that, because they had nobody there. Every single player backed off. They weren't defending the driving wall at all and conceded the points. To create a significant advantage on the scoreboard. Islanders look to have held them up initially, but now they go again. And they've got this well under control in the back. Now it's Tal Four coming away with it. Big pressure now, try! There's Tal Four in the back. He bounces away, he recognizes that it could have been compromised, shows leg strength and drive and determination, as does Michael Ala Ala Toa. There's that power I was talking about, the Crusaders. They bang it in there again. Makaleo finds Whitelock, another chip kick through, and Moore scramble at the back, Moore, oh, he's pitched a try here, he's just taking it away from Marty Banks. They spotted the opportunity, but Bridge, he just hit it a little bit too hard, it looked like it was going to be too far for Moanga, but the bounce of the rugby ball again, he is some sort of talent. Crusaders into the semi-finals and in style. Second half shutout. 
21 un unanswered points, 38-14 the final score.